But welcome to the Craft Stash Facebook Live Show. Oh my goodness, we are so excited for today's broadcast. We have Pete Hughes. Pete! Hello, nice to be here. Hello in Facebook land. <laughs> so happy to have Pete Hughes from Sizzix here. Pete Hughes is a Sizzix star. Is that right? You are. Really? You are. Wow, I want that on my business card. <laughs> yes, we were we were having a chat about that before the show. I think you should do it. Pete Hughes, Sizzix star. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe everything. <laughs> yeah. Pete, so some people, maybe they don't know your work. How, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get into crafting? Oh. How did you start off at Sizzix? Tell us, tell us everything. Well, where do I start? <laughs> well, like, like, I, th I think when I was a kid, I was, like most makers or creatives, I was sat in a corner with a sketch pad and a pencil. And that was me up until about the age of 16. Um, and then I went on to uh, art college where I oh, okay. did illustration, but I specialized in cartoons and caricatures. So I went out in the world freelance and then I got a job with an educational publisher and I was doing all the artwork for their publications right. and they became distributors for this mysterious machine from a company called Ellison. And <laughs> this was all in the education market at the time. And then Ellison approached us about three years later and said, would you like to carry our craft brand? It's called Sizzix. And we said, that sounds exciting. Yes. But we didn't know just how exciting it was going to right. be. <laughs> and I didn't know what an incredible journey it was going to be because I transferred my skills as an illustrator into card yeah. making initially and then so Goes hand more. in hand. Yep. Designing products and stuff. Yep, so that's yes. that's kind of my journey, and I, I think you know everybody's got a similar story how they how they got into crafting yeah. and where they started and what they're doing now. And we do tend to drift from craft to craft. We rediscover old loves, yeah. And you know, so most people who are card makers, they probably do a bit of this and a bit of that and a bit of the other. So you know, yeah. we're creatives. That's what we do. Nice. Well, if you are brand new to the Facebook Live uh, show. Every week we are here on Friday, we do a demonstration, we do giveaways, we do we share new products with you, and this Friday is no different except we have the amazing Sizzix Star PQs with us. So there are going to be seven chances to win some Chapter 4 dies, and that's what we're going to talk four. about we today, died. about the Chapter 4 release from Sizzix. There's some great mm -hmm. designs there that we want to share with you. Pete's going to mm -hmm. do three demos, three demonstrations At least. for you. At least. Maybe more. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to check in on the comments to make sure everything is good. Sometimes we have sound issues, so we just want to make sure okay. that everybody is fine. <laughs> make sure to tag your friends in the comment section so that they can join us and they can... Oh wow, well, I'll stop that over. <laughs> so that they can join us and uh, share, share the broadcast in your crafty groups with your friends. You don't want them to miss out on the fun or on the chance to win some of these chapter four Sizzix dice. So I am on our Facebook page and I'm just clicking refresh to make sure we're there. There's there us. we are, um, look at us. Oh, and we have. It's so different, we're standing. Usually uh, we're sitting. <laughs> yeah. So we are standing today so that Pete can move around and I'm get to demoing. I'm a standing. <laughs> You're standing. Life standers, I'm <laughs> Nice, all right, so let's tune into the comments, let's see. Oh my gosh! Jan B. Hi, Pete from Florida. Hello. Oh, hi. Doris, uh, hello from Kentucky. Oh, that's amazing. Our two, one of our two, one of our first comments are from the states. That's impressive. Can usually exciting. Yeah, people are usually sleeping at this time. <laughs> um, Mary Millington says hello. Jillian Asheraf, woohoo! <laughs> Shelly Yellen says she loves my blouse. Thank you. <laughs> I actually we have a um, craft stash. Facebook group okay, called okay. Craft Stash Chat, mm -hmm. and so in there I posted. I, I should share the post with you after, but I had I made a little heart, <laughs> then I put your picture and my picture together. <laughs> oh, wonderful! <laughs> and then in there I asked, "What should I wear? I need to wear something nice for for Pete's visit." <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, fangirling. I'm fangirling over here, Pete. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lynn says hello. Jess Allen, hello, hello. Uh, Debbie Giles, great to see Pete on Craft Stash. Great to be here. Uh, Mary Millington says, I love watching the demos. Helen Dixon says, hi, Pete. Uh, Dina Dries from Cornwall. All right. Barbara says, can't believe I've not bought a Sizzix dye machine before now. Very addictive. <laughs> nice. Whoa, some other people watching from Florida. Florida. Nice. Florida. 
people in the states are tuning yeah. in. They don't want to miss out on Pete. Don't don't blame them. Oh. I've done Florida from top to bottom, right down to Key West, right up to the north. Lovely state. Yes, very warm, very nice. <laughs> All right, so let's get to talking about the chapter four dice. We've got yes. some here with us. We have indeed. There's quite a bit in the collection, right? The chapter four collection. We can't show them all because we would be here for a very long time. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's a very broad collection, and it's the time of year where the designers get excited about it because the chapters, incidentally, we, we tend to release dice quarterly. So chapter four goes from October right up until December, and it's the time where we get to play around because obviously chapter three is yeah. mainly Christmas and stuff like that. So it tends to be seasonal, but with these, it's like. What do you want to see? What, what, what's, what are the trends currently going on? You know, that kind of thing. So our designers, they get to play around a bit and try and second guess what you out there <laughs> actually want and need. So it's not the seasonal stuff that we get. It's kind of general for all year round. So it's one of my favorite chapters. Yeah. Very exciting. Awesome. So we have some here, so let me grab these. And there's a few um, offers going on, especially for Sizzix this week on the Craft Stash website. So lots of great offers. And the first one I wanted to share with you is if you get any of the Sizzix machines, so any of the die cutting machines, or if you get a die cutting machine bundle, uh, you will also receive a 10 pound credit towards any Sizzix dies that you can use towards any Sizzix dies. Yeah, that's the face we made yeah. <laughs> when, we, when we heard about this it's offer. It's my default face. <laughs> so with, you have to use a code for that. That's Sizzix10 to get that 10 pound voucher. And I believe also, Cap, we have triple points on that, so you can get triple points. Sorry, I made another of those faces. <laughs> And Kath is here today to help us. She <laughs> has taken uh, one day off from uni to come and help us. Thank you, Kath. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Which one should we show first? Which one? Okay. Whichever you want. Which I want to show, want. this is my favorite one. Do you like that one? I do. Oh, it's okay. it's the um, scattered hearts. I, I love I love hearts. What can I say? So, so maybe, yeah. maybe you'd like to show the folks at home the several. This was actually, we use, I used the die to, to cut through the front of the card and put acetate behind. So that's kind of a multi-level thing going on. But it, make, it makes the most beautiful background. It really does. And then you get all the fallout from the hearts you as do well. indeed. We have no waste with our dice. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Love that one. And then we have, oh, this one's so cute. Oh my goodness. The Country Canines. Do you know, I think this is kind of everybody's favorite at Look the moment. Look how cute. So I'll pass you some of these little cards. Look. There you see what I did there? It's a dash in and I put so long. That's so <laughs> funny. How, do you know what? I'm wasted. <laughs> I'm wasted. I really am. <laughs> There's another one. Now that's a shaker card. So we've used the die to actually cut through. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so we've used it to cut through the layers and we've put the shaker bits and pieces behind it. Amazing! Uh, oh, man, this one's another Oh yeah, we, we got so four. We got four here. So there you go. It. He's a dedicated follower of fashion. Look how cute! If you're, you're a bit young to remember the song, I'm sure, but I'm sure some of us out there know that song. And um, finally, oh, wait, cool okay. dude. How about that? The little oh, Scotty dog. Adorable. I love that dog. So cute! Oh my goodness! Lynn Brown, cute dogs. Dina Dree says she loves the canines. Jess Allen, all that's so cute. Vanessa Graham says that's so wafferly. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, I need my glasses. Wafferly, wafferly. Oh, it's clever. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to borrow that. No, I'm going to steal it. I'm going to steal it. There you go. Say that. Shelly, oh my gosh, you guys are so punny. Shelly Alden says, "Ha ha, pa pa." <laughs> Dora says, how adorable, love the doggies. Yeah, I think the doggies are... Are the doggies are favorite? I think they're they're going to be very popular. And rightly so. Yeah. There you go. Adorable. All right. Ooh, and then we have this one. Of course, unicorns are so trendy. This intricate unicorn die. Nah. Ooh. This one, I, I ink the card prior to cutting the uniform. And all those little stars, they, they come in the set as well. Oh, nice. Now... The next one, I actually used the unicorn. I cut it as an aperture. So, and I inked through that aperture, and you can see I've used some of the stars on that. I've got some stamping in there as well. So you can use these dies either the positive or the negative, but I used stencil film there to ink through. And then finally, now this one, just stay tuned because this one is gonna be our first demo. So Ooh, we're gonna, be doing, yeah. we're gonna be doing this one. And again, there, I've used the negative of the unicorn rather than the positive. 
So stay Beautiful. tuned for that one. Oh, can't wait for that demo and also giveaways, guys. We're gonna do seven giveaways, seven chances to win. Can't wait. All right. Ooh, I should have made a better pile here. I'm getting confused. <laughs> nope. Here we go. This is the boys' birthday die set. Look at all those dies that you get. <gasps> There's lots Perfect. going on with this one. There really is. And dinosaurs. We love dinosaurs. I love the dinosaurs. They're so cute. There you go. There's a couple of cards that we've made. So that one features. Ooh. Oh, and that features one of our square frames as well. You can see that little square frame in the back. There's the dinosaur from the set. You mean your square frames, Pete? Well, I can hardly. I can hardly take credit for inventing the square, <laughs> but I do Here's like frames Yay. and I like to use them for cutting to make yeah. aperture cards and so on and so forth. And they're very usable. They're one of those sort of things that you're going to have in your stash and it's going to stick around forever because it's universal. It's a staple, like any sort it of messy staple, die with, exactly with a basic right. shape, like circle yeah. dies. Circle, squares, I'm all over squares. that. Squares. So there you go. There's one more with the cute little bumper truck and the oh. gift from the set as well. Let me show that die set again. So look at all those dice. You get the little numbers as well, right? Lots of dice. You get all those little numbers, you get everything. I think it says 19 dice in the set, but including nice. all the little elements, there's a lot more than that. And this is eleven forty nine on the Craft Stash website. And I think it's such a deal because we also have another offer. So if you spend over 18, 16, 18 pounds, sorry, 18 pounds on the Craft Stash website for any Sizzix products, so you have to get some Sizzix. You can get Sizzix dies, you can get tools there's um <laughs> endless endless so much <laughs> like you'll find it it's yeah. all there because i've checked i know yeah so if you buy 18 pounds worth of sizzix products we are going to throw in a free distress oxide <gasps> color of your choice and the code for that is sizzix free so mm. for those inky backgrounds yeah, we're going to do an inky background. We are. We're going to do not the oxides, but the distress yeah. inks. But I do love the oxides. I love those punchy brackets. Yes. Wow. So cool. you can grab that offer with the code Sizzix free if you spend 18 pounds on any of the Sizzix mm -hmm. dies. You can get this one. Such a deal. And then we showed we showed your, your we squares. We showed those yep. squares. We showed yep. those squares. We did indeed. Uh, <laughs> we covered that. Well, anyway. I can show you another couple of. Actually, oh. if you want to see oh, something, yeah. you can do with the squares. Now, yeah. this also features another die, which Craft Stash has. This is the uh, envelope with hearts. Uh, we don't it's have the Wood Love envelope. Here. You don't? No, not not with this. Oh, in the not, studio, not with this right now. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, but not in the but studio. you see those hearts? It yeah. cuts out a lot of hearts, and I put those in the background again as a shaker cards. I'm really yeah. shaker cards are kind of coming back. They're becoming popular again. So, so we're going, and we use the square frames to make the aperture. So then next up, another one where we've crisscrossed and overlapped some of those square frames to create a, yet another shaker card. Just a nice. very, very usable little set. And as we said, it's a staple. It's one of those things that are going to be universal and you're going to use them all year round. Right. Nice. All right. And then we have the butterflies, which I feel like you can never have enough butterflies. Done. Well, that's our thinking at Sizzix. Uh, this one's quite well thought out because you have a sense of scale. You have different sizes here, different patterns, and you can overlay these. So if we look at this little tag Ooh. that we've got, there's one way of using them together. I mean, I don't need to tell you how to use butterflies. You guys do wonderful <laughs> things with them. But if you look at right behind your hand there, we've got this lovely kind of vase. Yeah, let me, can I show that Which on is, the main oh, shot? Oh, let's show that on the main. Because it's too big to show <laughs> It is. So that's decorated with, with glitter. Um, there we go. We can pop that. Shall I pop Where the battery on yeah. there? Yeah. Oh. I'll pop that on. It's decorated that's with so glitter cool. card, butterflies, <laughs> um, metallic, silver butterflies. There's yeah. white butterflies. There's everything going on. It's just a question of die cutting them, forming them, attaching them. And it takes minutes, but it's spectacular. It really is. And then you shape the wings so that they were a little bit more dimensional as well. They look like yeah, yeah. You just need to curl them, like you know, yeah. curl paper and boom, nice. pop. Look at wow. that for your table centerpiece. Yeah. yeah. Nice. There you go. Do you want to? Oh, Should I, is that okay then? You want that there? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? That's fine. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave it. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We've got lots of comments. Um, Vanessa says she loves the butterflies. Dina loves the pink shaker card. Beautiful, everybody. Oh, <laughs> Lizzie says she needs a Sizzix glue gun. <laughs> so funny. Nice. I know. I feel like when you see something, you're like, I need that. Especially yeah. when it's from Sizzix, because you know it's great quality. Yeah. <laughs> Shelly Yeldon says, wow, so pretty. 
Um, was that me or the, or the cats? Am I so pretty? Or? Both. 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 I've never been called pretty before. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So let's move on. Oh, one more from you, Pete. One more oh, from you. Oh, okay. Let's this see. is the elegant. Elegant leaf. Elegant this leaf. Elegant leaf. Yeah, this is one that uh, I, I've seen around this, this kind of thing. And I thought, we need one of those. We absolutely need one of those. So I'll just bring in a little frame, which my friend Sophie actually mm -hmm. made. This is one made by uh, Sophie, That's... one of our designers. Oh, and yeah, you can see, see you can it. have it as a yeah. garland and you can have it running around. It's great on a Christmas wreath, you know, if you want to use it for decor or just with any flower dye, just having this poking out underneath any flower dye. It's great for packaging, you know, if you've got a gift and you want to put like uh, something fancy on the top, like a flower, it looks beautiful. And it's cut in silver. Oh, nice. Can they put that on the, on the main yeah, camera? Yeah, that's probably good. Cool. But that's just an initial, that's just a, a large die cut initial in the center. But beautiful die, really nice. I know, that, that's great because it is a die that's like three inches. Yep, yep. But you can still make something Human a large, a large project. Yeah. Nice. Or should we put yeah, this? <laughs> Alright, thanks, Pete. <laughs> Alright, and then we have this one, which I, I picked for Kate Moore yeah. Rosardi because I know Caitlin, she's my friend, because I used to work at Sizzix. I don't know if you guys know. Pete, there you did go. you know? I used to work at Sizzix. Um, US, Sizzix US, not, not, where, not where Pete is in the UK. Um, so yeah, this is from Caitlin Lazardi, and this is the flip and foil ornament. Now, you know, I haven't had a chance to make anything with that yet. Uh, it's Actually, these dies, a lot of these only arrived in the country. Um, yeah, they're, they're, Wednesday, they're they? new. So they are brand new. Sadly, no chance to make anything with it. But I know <laughs> Caitlin's work, uh, it's always, it's yeah. always uh, something to look forward to seeing what Caitlin's come up with. It's really yes. nice. Though. She's a really lovely person. So I just, I just wanted to throw that one in there. No, yeah. yeah. And nod to my friend Caitlin. <laughs> and then the last one we have to show is the, the girl, which complements the this other is... one. The boy birthday. So we've got the boy birthday and the girl birthday. So, oops, right, so let me show that to you. Right, shall I get you some lovely stuff? Yeah. This is the central figure. Does does she have a name? Now these are all actually these are these are birthday um baby shark cards. Oh yeah. So this was a set that I did recently. Um, you can still, yeah. I just wanted to show as much versatility. Now distress oxides. By the way, I think oh, the background so colors cute. for these are Distress Oxide, so yes. I'll use those just to create those backgrounds there. That's the gift that's also in the set. And then finally, the lovely cupcake. So Beautiful! Something for everybody. Those I, are so nice. I know my daughter loves this. Does the little mouse have a name? We'll Is it, it a pop, mouse? We'll call it Poppy after my daughter. There we go. Aww, Poppy. Mouse. Poppy. Yep. So cute. All right, I think. Is that all the ones that we're showing? I think we I think so. I think much. we did. Yeah. I think we're up to speed. Nice. Awesome. So we can move on to the demonstration. Yeah. It's going to be doing three demos. And if you're just tuning in, we're here with Sizzix Star Pete Hughes. Yay! <laughs> and we're going to be giving away some of these dies live during the broadcast. So I will tell you how to enter that giveaway in just a second. Just make sure that if you have a moment, you could please tag it and share this broadcast with your friends so that they can tune into the demonstration. Watch Pete at work. You're gonna wow us with your cards, I know it. Oh, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Might not be that good, are you? No, you're amazing. Oh. It's going to be fantastic. Oh, yeah, like, anyway, no pressure now. <laughs> right, so we're switching to over ca overhead cam. Yes. Let's get started. Wait, stop. No, pause. Pause. Hey. Everyone, pause. Sorry, got to go back. I forgot to announce the question, Pete, in the oh. excitement. Oh. Oh. oh, you did, you did, you did. The giveaway question. You. So, to enter, to win uh, one of these uh, Chapter 4 dies, the question is, in honor of World Card Making Day, which is tomorrow, Saturday, mm -hmm. World yes, Card Making Day, tell us how you got into card making. And if you are not a card maker, maybe you do some other sort of paper craft or some other kind of crafting, maybe you make jewelry, I don't know. Tell us how you got into that, like how, what, what piqued your interest, what's your crafting story, how you got into card making or paper crafting. And then at the end, we will pick seven winners. Wow. I like that. I like that. I look forward to reading those. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I'll read some. Uh, 
people will uh, answer the question as you're doing the demo, and I'll oh, we'll cool. read, we'll read your stories out. Okay. I'm sure we have some similar stories. I'm sure. I always feel like it's it's somebody that introduced you to it, like your grandma or your yeah. auntie or your sister yeah. kind of got you into it. Well, yeah, it, so. was my, it was my mum in my case. So. Hmm. I shall, I shall start, and I've got a circle. Now I hand cut this circle. The reason is, this is going to be a moon, and I like that edge. I like the edge like that. If you, you can cut it with a die. The sizzlet circles are phenomenal, but that little hand cut edge makes a big difference. Now I'm going to ink. This is broken china, distressing, and it's quite random. I'm just putting that around it like that, and then I'm going to take crushed. Sapphire. I love the names of these inks. Very evocative. I know that whoever names those is <laughs> amazing. I think it's I think it's Mr. Holt's hand at work, probably Faded somewhere. Jeans, perfect China. Somewhere down there. Yeah. Mustard seed. Well, you know, it's, it's <laughs> funny because a lot a lot of the a lot of the names actually come from where the original dye came from. So mustard seed would be crushed up mustard seed. So you get that lovely yellow and like walnut stain that was uh, roasted walnut shells which are ground to a powder to then make that very deep brown and we've got antique linen here it's a very evocative name so there you go that's it that's already Ooh, can i show that on the close-up oh, camera please so you can do see please all do. those colors look at that uh, there you go so it's kind of looking like a moon we're almost so easy. there so quick but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my, my spritzer and just spritz away. So we've got some quite big blobs on that and some smaller ones. It's just clean water. I'm going to let that soak in just for a second. Now I'll take some kitchen towel and pop that over. So if you want to show that yes. the guys on close-up can, you see now suddenly Ooh. we are working with a moon. That's amazing. That's cute, isn't it? So I'll just take my heat tool and I just want to dry that off before die cutting it. Uh, make sure the cut is nice and quick. Do you know one of the great things with flower dye is if you die cut flowers with this cut and then you soak them in water and form them, mm -hmm. they set rock solid. Really, really cool. When they dry? Yeah. Yeah. But once they dry, they are rock solid. Oh, so I'll that. just put my inks under there for a second and take now. Going onto my machine this time. So I'll take my intricate, and you can see all the detail there in that unicorn. And I'm going to place that onto the circle like so, and then make my sandwich. We always sandwich between the two plates. Now I'll pop this onto my platform in my Sizzix Big Shot, which if people have a Big Shot and they're wondering why mine looks a bit weird with this attachment on the side, <laughs> this is a tool caddy. And I know that you can get that from Craft Stash. It's, it's changed my life because I'm such a messy worker that it's good to have all my tools in one place close to hand. So we we'll just extricate that from there. So that's kind of ready to go. We'll put the plates back in place. I'll take my... This is my base cut. Now I think for this, actually, I'll take this away. Is that is that okay? Or do you... Do you is no. it alright if I work? Yeah, I think, I think yeah. we can move okay, it away. Okay, as long as it's not getting too much glare on the camera as it were. Yes. So, take the glue, a little bit of PVA on the back there. Da, da, da. Kat, can we zoom in just a little bit if possible? Thank you, just so we can see Pete's handiwork. Man, I'm loving these comments. I missed, oh, there, you know how they scroll as people are typing, and I missed one, but someone said that they got into crafting because, um, I'm, I'm trying to find it, <laughs> the uh, person at the shop was really rude, oh, there we go, Colette, <laughs> Colette and Newbie says, she went into a shop and the uh, assistant was so rude, she decided to make her own gifts and cards. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, like, bad experience, but like, that, that, came from it. That's a new story. <laughs> okay. So there it is. So we've used the negative. We use that lovely dark background. And what I'm going to do now, this is a stamp. This, um, this is from the guys at Kaisercraft from a set called Stargazer, which also you can get from the Craft Stash side. Oh yeah, Craft I'm Stash. Put that in. I love you to the moon and back. And now finally, 
Remember, I said there are other dies with this uh, with this unicorn, and we've got the little star dies. There are three different sizes of stars, and I put the there it is. 3D foam pads on the back, ready. There it is, and also yeah. we've got the three butterflies. So some nice little details. I do love a die. You know, if it was just the unicorn by itself, that's fine. It's a gorgeous unicorn. But right. these little dies really help with the composition. Um, oh, let's take my tweezers this time because it's getting a bit fiddly. The good side of fiddly. Ooh, are those Sizzix tweezers I see there? They are Sizzix <laughs> tweezers. They are Sizzix tweezers from the um, paper crafting kit. Uh, nice. Which, which, which is perfect if you're making like 3D flowers and stuff like that. Paper sculpting kit, I should have said. So we're going to look at this paper sculpting kit. It, it's wonderful. There's tweezers, there's scissors, there's your little mats in there as well. And those are also available on the Craft Stash website. And right now we have 10% off all Sizzix tools which not only include the tools like the tweezers, um, but there's also fabric and felt and storage options, die storage options. So the 10% discount is auto applied on all Sizzix tools. We're having like a Sizzix, Sizzix party here. We are I'm loving indeed. it. Ooh, and then some gemstones. The gemstones, this is, I'm, I'm probably guilty of using these a bit too much, but they help to tie everything in. And there, my friend, is that. That is the finished card. Nice. Let's show that on the close up. Oops. Oh, oh. here we go. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Look at that. So beautiful. I love that background. It was so quick. I can't believe how quick, quick how it is. How quick and easy is that? It looks, it looks magical. Doesn't look like magic to you guys. I'm loving it. Now, we are going to make something else. We're going to move straight on. We've got a lovely little garland here. You can buy these from tons of shops this time of year. But I'm going to use my frameless flowers. These are also chapter four. Um, and there are two different shapes of flowers. You have the flower centers as well. Uh, oh, nice. And this is obviously uh, just a, a mirror board or a mirror type card. So we're going to cut that, but I'm going to show you how to make these flat shapes become more dimensional. And we'll pop those two out there, put that to one side. I'm using a big side. This is... Oh, sorry, do you want let to... me just move it just a hair. I'm, I know, I'm go. drifting towards... I'm, <laughs> I'm drifting out of shot. Apologies for that. No, it's fine. <laughs> so what I'm doing now... I'm using a big side. Now, big ties are very different to the wafer thin dies that most of us are very familiar with because bigs have a deep steel blade. And with, that means you can cut materials beyond paper and card, which also means that you can create things beyond paper crafting. It cuts textiles beautifully well. You can cut balsa wood. You can cut so many materials. Pretty much anything you can cut with scissors. Right up to heavy mount board, which we'll be seeing a little later as well. So yeah, you can cut like multiple layers of fabric with the... Absolutely. So if you're, if you're a quilter, for example, yeah. you know, with a quilting die, you can cut through six layers of cotton fabric. And if you're using a hexagon, say a die with four hexagons on, six layers, that's 24 hexagons. Every one perfect. Everyone accurate. I know. Every single time. Now, that's amazing. We're talking about dimension, and this works beautifully. Now, you see what I've done here? Mm -hmm. I've actually put my tweezers pointing towards the center in the middle of the petal, and I'm just going to twist. That's all it is. Mm. But the effect that this has. Oh, that's so cool. By the time you get to the end, and it works perf perfect with mirror board or anything that picks up the light, the sheen from the light. So Ooh, this is my that on the first part. You do need yeah. to get that close. That's up, amazing! Don't you? Look, guys, look at that texture and dimension. That's awesome! What a great tip! Nice, nice. Now this this is all about decor. It's home decor. It's for hanging off a tree. It's for hanging on your door. Whatever you choose to do. Now I'm just going just on the edges of the petal for this one because we're going to layer this up. Oh right. And we're so going to attach one, it. the other layers would cover it up, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that's that. That's number three. So and easy. then I'm going to go to my leaves. So it's the same thing now. With that's the leaves. amazing. Just oh my gosh, I love it. 
it's a little twist that's all it is but you know what whether you're using card whether you're using paper if you want to get some dimension into your die cuts if you want them to make if you want them to pop out of your cards or your scrapbook layout or your home decor project this is just one of those little tricks which i like to share um i can't remember how i came across <laughs> this. well how i i love it though it's it's yeah. so simple but very effective for just adding a little bit of texture to it yep Can, and you're doing this with mirror card but do you think it would work on just basic card it works on stuff? playing card yeah, yeah it works okay. on playing card um nice. So something, sometimes what I like to do is just lightly ink the edges of the petals and do this technique and layer them up. And that inking helps them stand out fantastically well. I'm going to just do the last couple here and then we'll attach it all. And then I think this will really come to life when we start to attach it to I'm, our wreath. I'm going to nice. just tear the bottom off. Oh, okay. Sacrilege, I know. <laughs> so... What I'm going to do now, I've got some of these wired, I can kind of like wired berries, I guess. Berries, then. yeah. And I'm going to take my Sizzix glue gun, and we're going to put a good glob of glue on that. And there, and we'll have that sitting there. And then the second one, that's going to sit there like so. Actually, no, I'm going to leave that up for a second. I've just made an executive decision. Oh. Um, what was it? What glue, glue. No, I just I decided <laughs> to put this one down first. But, okay. um, yeah, just layer that there. Now, please excuse me if there's stringy glue all over the place. You can clean this up afterwards, of course. But ah, see that? That's, that's moving the berries along. But then there's my second one. So I'm also forming these with my thumb. So I'm getting these leaves to actually, and uh, we're coming in again with our glue again. This is such a treat, Pete. I was telling you this before the show that you have these home decor projects that you're showing us because usually on you know craft stash on the, these facebook live shows we do card making demonstrations or um last week we had a like boxes gift box demonstration by helen griffith but it's like this is actually home decor something that you can put up in your house and display that, it this is it well and it's yeah, so but, easy but you know <laughs> that's the good thing about having big stars that's the great thing about having dies with a deep steel blade because you could be cutting cork you could be cutting denim you could be cutting leather you could denim. be cutting mount boards so it's also right. great for mixed media work you know yes. if you want to cut truly dimensional thick shapes now i'm going to reach over and i'm just going to take some of these 3d foam pads from the guys at sticks two. Oh yeah we love sticks two. we love sticks two with sizzix as well <laughs> We've had a good relationship down the years. They never, they never let us down. Ooh, so, I have a question from sure. Jeanette Handley. Here we go. Hi, Jeanette. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, too many Jeanette. No, you can never have too many Jeanette. <laughs> All right. So she is wondering if the twist technique with the tweezers works with ordinary tweezers, or do you need the pointy bit? At you the do. You do need tweezers. They don't have to be pointy in the sense that they're sharp. But you do need them with, you know, the long tweezers. You do need long nose tweezers. Ooh, we have so, another question yeah, from yeah. Vanessa Graham. Is that a brad in the middle of the flower? Piece? It is a brad. I didn't mention it. I apologize. I'm getting ahead of myself. It is a brad. So we just put a jewel brad in the center of the. You can put an adhesive gem, whatever, whatever. Even a, oh, even a button beautiful. with twine on it. Whatever. Guys. Now, while, while you've got that, while you're holding that there. That's amazing. Let's take a look at the one that I made yesterday. Okay. So same thing. But this time with silver Ooh. and some slightly different embellishments. So That's great. Go. That one, uh, the, the one you just made right now, feels more like a festive fall, like autumn yeah. kind of theme. And then this one is very Christmassy. Very elegant and fancy. <gasps> Amazing! And How about that? I have a special announcement to make <gasps> about... <laughs> Love special announcements. Are they fun? <laughs> so... On top of the seven dies that we're going to give away in just a bit after Pete is done with his demonstration, we're also going to be giving away some of Pete's projects yeah. that he's making today. So, <laughs> Pete, wait, we're giving these away. Yeah. <laughs> you knew, you yeah, knew. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. <laughs> yeah, they go on. In the wind. So, we're going to be giving these away, one on air during the broadcast. So, we're going to give it. Is it all right to give this one away? Uh, be yeah. Fine, okay. be absolutely fine. So, we're going to give this to one lucky person. We'll send that to you very nicely packaged in the mail. But there's also going to be more chances for you to win Pete's projects that he's made on the Craft Stash blog. And I'm sure Hillary, our social media manager, will be putting that link to the blog post where you can enter to win some more of Pete's beautiful creations. 
So we're really excited, you guys. Oh my gosh. Yay. I'm excited myself. So nice. Yeah. So beautiful. Now we're going to use the dashen. This is another chapter. Yes. Yeah. It's a lovely dashen. There's a bone, there's an ear, there's a bow as well. But this is a piece of black card, like you need me telling you that. But all I'm going to do is scrunch at it. And then what I've done, I've scrunched it, I open it, I scrunch it, I do that three or four times, and then I've attached it to a piece of mount board. So remember what I said about really heavyweight materials. This is mount board, and I use spray adhesive to attach this so it's got this lovely Oh man, let me kind see if texture. I can show that see if on pick the that texture there. Yeah, look at that texture. There you go. And that is really thick. It sure Mount is. Yeah. That's your mount board. Look at that. So we're going to go nice. through both of those layers. So I've got my bigs die here. I'm going to place that centrally. Now, when you're working with bigs, of course, you don't need the platform from your big shot machine. Just this the rolls pads. just the sandwich. That's it. Um, and one of the things I love about the big shot is the, the instructions are on the platform yes. so you're never in any doubt as to how to layer your sandwich depending on which product you are using tells you all the instructions i know that's so helpful it really is it really is now so there's our dog that's it we've cut the ear and we've cut the main body now before i go any further what i'm going to do is take some lovely gilding wax and that so you see why i went with the texture because that's bringing wow. our cute canine to life why didn't i think of that <laughs> so i'm sure i stole this idea up here in the past somewhere yeah. <laughs> that's awesome look it's so why yeah. that just genius <laughs> thank you so much for, for sharing all these tips with us <laughs> There Easy. you go. Now that's ready to go. I'm going to take my glue gun again. So we're just off camera for a second. So I've got the ear in place. Now, one thing that you get with this dog also is a lovely bow die. So you get this bow, which you can make, which you can create uh, using the pieces on the die. And um, I'm going to take my glue gun again. And now this is the fun, but this is where we start talking about bigs, about their possibilities, what we can do with bigs. So. I'm going to lay that there. Can I show this on the close-up? Please do. Yeah? Please okay. do. You guys have to see just how cool this is. Look at that. Just some gilding wax. How quick and easy was that? I know. How quick and easy. That's incredible. Love it. Now what I've done, I've, I've just cut this off so that people can see what I'm doing with the next bit because this bit's quite important. This is fun. Now that's where the die is on now that's where the dog is on the die. This is a piece of folded black card. Now, what I'm going to do, there's the crease at the top. I'm going to place it on the die like so for reasons which hopefully will become apparent. So let's take <laughs> that away. I say hopefully like I have no confidence in myself. But, um, You're a pro. But hey, we're live. Anything can happen. <laughs> Anything true. can that's happen. True. So I'm switching over to my big shot. And what I've done here see is this I've cut kind of there's my dog you see how I've cut it in half oh, yeah. but what I'm going to do with that is apply some glue a little bit here a little bit there and on the tail and then I'm going to stick this onto the dog which I made it earlier that's awesome. So what that does, it means it's a free standing That's dog. So, cool. so this is maybe let's show the guys on close up yes. cam. Extreme close up. So there you go, this free stand. You can do that with any of the dogs. If you've got a snowflake, uh, Whoa, a snowman, so if you've got cool. a Christmas tree, anything, anything. It makes great table decor. It makes it looks lovely on, on your uh, mantelpiece. You can have it on your Christmas table as a place name. Not necessarily a dash. Yeah, there's there's enough room there to write out a little name. Kath, are you loving that? Look at that. It's so fun. It's so cute. I love it. I kind of want to keep that one for myself. <laughs> We're ready for another one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's fire away. Right now then, what we've got here. This is our lovely owl die. This is owl number eight. Not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but eight. That's so horrible. we've got we've got different owls here. This one. Talk about the cutting powder. This is marquetry wood. This is actual wood. Is so it really? It think? really is oh, marquetry wood. It is. Oh, okay. Let me, let me yeah. show that. This one. Close up. There you go. 
actual wood. I did not know that you could do this. Well, you can. <laughs> you can. Indeed, you can. Now, what I want to do. Oh, let me show you. Let me show you this one as well. This is. This one is all different textiles. So we've got different weights of textiles, different kinds of textiles. So and I'm going to show you folks at home a little cheat in a second as well. So, um, give us those tips. What I've done, <laughs> okay, I've cut, out, I've cut out this one, a different, different paper with text all over the place. Um, different shades, obviously. I've layered that up, all the pieces from the die. Now you see the lovely stitching on that, on that fabric? Yes. Well, look again, it's actually done with a pen. And you see, what I'm doing is I'm going around and I'm kind of jerking the pen back in two. And only with close observation, only if you were looking for it, would you realize that this was actually pen and not stitching because it's, it's a great effect. You know, if you don't want to get your sewing machine out. Yeah, no. Or if it's not loaded up with the right color yarn. Uh, yeah, then, can I, I want to show actually this one that I'm holding on the close-up camera if that's possible. Yeah, because please it does, do. Like, please do. From, it totally looks like stitching. <laughs> that's amazing. But that's that's pen. That's not actually stitched. So, so if cool. it's for a home decor item like that, and you don't want to go through the whole stitching thing, or even if you're not uh, now, a lot of paper crafters are not. You know, they don't do the soft craft, so they may not have. A sewing machine to hand. I have trouble with sewing machines. Uh, it, it, they just always jam on me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, so I've given up. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've got a bit of previous with sewing machines as well. <laughs> but there we are. That's that's our out. So, so that I think that stitch effect around the end has brought it all together. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you some tricks that we can do. Now that's the out, all cut out, ready to go. We could attach this to a project, but, 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 but. What I'm going to do this time, and we'll cut a little bit, remember the paper from before. I'm going to cut the owl's body so we can show you our next move. Really, I should have done this prior to the broadcast <laughs> because I'm wasting your time and the people at home. But yeah. stick with us, it's going to be worth it. It really yes. is. Yes, we're going to be giving away some prizes, guys. Stick around. Oh, yeah. Now, there's the owl. That's the main body of the owl. That's where it sits on the die. This time, I've got some card folded. And I'm going to place this here. Now notice it doesn't cover the owl. If I covered the owl, it would cut two shapes out. But I'm just leaving a little bit of the blade exposed at the top. The reason being, as we will see in a moment, let's get the guy out of the way. It's starting to feel more like home now, Janet, because I've got all my clutter. Everything's <laughs> all over the place. Are now, you a messy crafter? Oh, aren't we all? <laughs> Well, if there are any yeah. neat crafters out there, text in, but I don't think I don't think we're gonna get much response to that. Now you see what I've done? There's the owl, there's the card. I can attach the owl to the card like so. And what that gives me is a freestanding. Now this is another example. So that's a freestanding card. That's that's well, when I crease it properly at the top is <laughs> a freeze. But if you want to show that yes, absolutely. on the camera. Now and there that's it, it. so any shape, any of your shapes can become a mini card. Now, similarly, with this so one, cute. now this time, I've done the same kind of thing, Ooh. except this time we use the side. So I put the crease on the side of the body. So now the card opens like that one. So there's a, there's a third one. So any of your dies, you can do this technique and get so a easy. standing So easy. A standing card. But there is, there is one so more cute. technique that I want to share with the, with the guy. Well, there's a few more actually, but, but this one, what I've done, I folded a piece of card in half and then I've made an extra fold at the base. So the best way to remember this fold is to show like this. It kind of forms a small W there or a large right. W, depending which way you look at it. Now, when I take my die this time, what I want to do is remember where our owl is on the cuff. This time, I'm going to put this with the fold at the base just here. So it's not quite covering the bottom of the blade there. And we'll put that in place. Because this is my this is one of my favorite. There are so many ways of folding card awesome. with, with, a, with a big shot to get special, spectacular effects. I used to do it to demonstrate to people just how many layers you can cut through with the bigs. Yeah. Um, so that's cut through four layers of cut very cleanly. But you see, you see that bit in the base there? 
That's now, so cool. What that's going to do... How did I not know this before? <laughs> what so that is going to do right <laughs> is when I put some glue just at the top, there's just glue across the top and then see that what happens when that sticks together. Now this base, this bit here, again, that gives you a freestanding shape. So it's great for table decor. It's great if you've got Christmas trees, snowmen, anything like that. So you could attach your shape to the front. Remember that wooden one we looked at before? Now this, right. this oh, yeah. has the stand in it. Let's, let's show that up close so you can see. And it was just folding your piece of card the way that Pete shared with us. Look how easy that is. But there's one more thing. We've only told half the story with this one because <laughs> if if I attach that to the front like so, so this is the one that we cleaned up with the pen earlier, and I just trim away that base. Thus. So that's my freestanding owl. That guy's gonna stand up. Um, but if I fold this base out like so and apply some glue to there mm -hmm. and there and what I do is I stick it into the card like that right so when I open up the card now it becomes a pop-up shape but I've got one that I made earlier that I think you might like That's actually amazing. so this guy this guy here how about this there he is <gasps> look how, how cute about that? Yeah, it's a crest oh that's a that's cute, isn't it? <laughs> so let's let's just show let's just show the guys how, how I do the gluing. Um, oh, that's amazing! Look how cute! Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm keeping this one. Can I keep you're this more than welcome. <laughs> you're more than welcome. So I've I've glued both sides at the base, just that where the fold is, and I'm going to put that in there. And I shall hold that. This is not great TV, waiting <laughs> for glue to dry. It really isn't. But hopefully, in a second, can we'll you, be able to... Can you show to... the main shot, Kat, so I can show the pop-up effect of this little owl? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there so it cute. is. <laughs> and uh, that's any shape. So if you want to do it with the Christmas tree, you want to do it with the snowman. I'm thinking so Christmassy because we are in kind of Christmas mode at the moment. Yeah. You can do it with flowers, you can do it with stars, yeah. you can do it with any shape, any die-cut shape from a big from a big style, obviously, to cut through those layers. I want to read this comment because this is sure. exactly how I'm feeling right now. Becky Holiday says, my tiny mind is literally blown today. Oh, <laughs> yes, cool. mind blown. Like, I'm learning so much. I'm loving it. Jean Neve, Jean Neve, I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong, Jean. She says she's loving these new tips. Oh, Alicia Ramal says she's the same with the sewing machines. No good whatsoever. Oh my gosh, so sewing machines. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, Andre says, so much dimension in these wonderful projects. Diane Hill, great tips today. Um... Mary Smith says, loving today's show. Best I have seen so far. Oh my gosh. Wow. Neat. What a compliment. That's amazing. Maybe they'll have me back. <laughs> that would be so cool. We could do a monthly, monthly uh, sit-in with Pete. Um, <laughs> everyone's saying that they're messy crafters. Yep, yep. See, Barbara, bless them. <laughs> Emma McLean says, is there a tidy crafter? No. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's such a thing. Uh, Alicia, oh, she says she's very messy as well. Um, Doris Follendorf says, tidy desk and crafting don't go in the same sentence. Mm -hmm. LOL. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice one. Everybody's loving the pop up owl. Cool. Yeah. Nice. So I always think that people, people who make lists and are very organized, they're actually disorganized. It's those of us that don't make the list and don't do all that. We, we keep it there. We know what's going on. We don't need to make lists. We don't need to have everything just so. We are organized. They're the disorganized ones. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> and so, you, were, you were saying too that even though your, your desk is messy, you know exactly where yeah, everything where is. You're like, I just underneath reach under that pile of paper and there it is. Put it in, so. How are we doing for time? We got time for a couple, a quick demo? Let's see. We, we actually are running out of time. We are. Oh, we gosh. are. But. If you want to be back, we can have Pete back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Um, okay. So I think it's time to give. Let me let me see if we've got our winners yet for our competition. We do. We've got our seven winners. So we will be sending each of these winners one die from the chapter four line. 
So we're so excited. Drum roll, drum roll, everyone. We're gonna announce the winners. Pete, do us a drum roll, please. Do us a demo. Okay. It's a quick drum, one. No, 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 drum roll, drum roll. Sorry. Oh, drum roll. I thought it said demo. See, it's my hero. You Sorry. ready? He was ready to go to another demo. Yeah, that's shocking. Okay. First winner is Tom McCormick. She, he says, sorry, he, Tom is a regular viewer. Hello, Tom. <laughs> Congratulations. He says that he'd never tried card making before, but he went to a shop to check some stuff out and ended up buying the Big Shot Plus and never looked back. Yes. My man. <laughs> That's amazing. And then we have Sue Lloyd. She was very unwell, left unable to work due to being left with a disability, and she needed something to keep her brain active, so she bought a craft magazine and made the cards that were the free gift, and after that she was hooked. She loved it because it takes the, her mind off of the chronic pain that she lives with, and she loves buying uh, from craft stuff, and she can never have enough. Oh, yes, I, I feel like so many people find crafting very therapeutic and it's a stress reliever, honestly. Uh, do you know what? It, it, it really is. It really is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So congratulations. And then we have Jeanette Handley, another winner. Well done. She got into card making to use uh, cross stitch kits that came free with magazines. And then she moved on to decoupage and Irish folding. And then she went to a class and started coloring and stamping, then incorporated die cutting. And now she also has a mixed media journal. <laughs> what took you so long to get to die cutting, Jeanette? <laughs> You should start with that, Kathy. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. No, but we're glad you're here now. We're that's funny, because like, once you start with one thing, you're like, I'm going to try oh, this. Absolutely. And then I want to try absolutely. that. And then, yeah, you end up trying all the things. And then we have Jean Nev. Neve or Nev? I'm sorry, Jean, that I'm saying it wrong. Well done, you're another winner. So she says she suddenly found herself on her own and was uh, saw card making on TV, and she was hooked. And it helped her through her grieving, and she never felt lonely when she's crafting. That's a nice story. That's, and I've, I've heard that quite a bit, actually. I've heard that quite a bit. Yeah. And then we have another winner. Three more winners. Three more winners to go. Oh, and also the... Wait, let me see how many. I want to make sure that I counted right. Because we also have this one to give away live on the broadcast. So the last one was Jean. Tara Green is the other winner. Um, she says she writes poetry and writes her own sentiments and cards. So a few, years, a few years ago, she decided to start making her own cards to show off uh, more of the sentiments that she was writing. Oh, nice. Nice. That's cool. I love poetry. I can't write poetry, but I do love poetry. And then we have um, Helen Dixon. She says her lovely mom and grandma ignited her love for crafting, and she now shares that with her daughter. That's nice. Well done. I got my mom to thank. And then we have, ooh, I'm going to definitely butcher this name. I do apologize. Okay. Siobhan? Siobhan? Siobhan, sorry. Siobhan, yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so American. <laughs> With the two. I got into card making after seeing Don Bibby on QVC many years ago. Stopped for a while, but got back into card making again last year after a friend dragged me to a craft class. Lovely yeah, friend you have there dragging yeah, you to yeah. a craft class. You know that Dawn baby? She's got a lot to answer for. She has. Nice lady. All right. And then, the, so that's our seven die winners. And then the final winner, who we will be sending this beautiful wreath to so you can hang it up on your wall. Pete made it himself. You can show it off to all your friends. Yep. <laughs> is Tina Call. She says she has become addicted to card making and crafting, and she's now throwing, um, sorry, now throwing all my other lovely stuff away to make more room for all my craft stuff. <laughs> and I still have a wish list the size of my arm. Only think the, um, is only thing is there is never enough time to spend crafting, but enjoy what time I can. Cool. We need more hours in the day to craft. We do. we do. I'm just picking the bits of glue off this for you, Tina, because I was putting it on slap that. It's fine. It's just got, you know, those stringy bits of hot glue. Yeah. There you go. But I think we're good to go. There you go. Nice. So congratulations to all of our winners. Amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with us. Thanks, Pete, so much for joining us, too. It's been my pleasure. Thanks I was, for having did me. you enjoy yourself? I always enjoy myself. Good. I really enjoyed it, though. Thank you, Jenna. No, thank you, Pete, and thank you again to everyone. We will see everyone next week. And don't forget to check out all those offers and deals. This is offers and deals on the Craft Stash website. Click on those links that Hillary has provided for us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have a good weekend, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.